everyone, welcome in a new episode of Stephen's Week, the weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome to this new show, my friend. The sales results came out of the Model 3 of Tesla, uh, US figures, and um, Tesla Model 3 is crushing all competition. If you look at the category of um, small sedans, um, one out of four of those cars is now a Tesla Model 3. And uh, the companies that are really suffering from that are the German car, man car manufacturers, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, um, like the BMW 3 Series, they lost about 40% in sales compared to a few years ago. Mercedes lost almost 40% in sales. Um, so this is really disrupting the market. Model 3 of Tesla is disrupting the market of small sedans. Um, imagine what happens if Tesla rolls out more models in other categories of these German car manufacturers. And of course, the German car manufacturers are investing a lot of money in electrical vehicles. But let's be honest, they are years behind of Tesla. And the question is, in the years that they're now catching up with their big time investments, how big will the damage be for these organizations? Fitbit can now predict um, if there's going to be a flu outbreak in the US. And they look at the data from the Fitbit, obviously, and uh, they track uh, the heart rhythm, the heartbeat that you have, and they combine that with the increased amount of sleep that people have. And if they add those two together, they can now predict um, when there's going to be a flu outbreak, where it's going to happen, and they can do this in real time. And the goal is that they will share that data with um, hospitals and doctors so that they can preemptively make sure that they are ready for uh, many, many patients with, uh, with the flu. And because of this, they believe that they will be able to decrease the number of people that die every year because of the flu. General Motors and Cruise have launched a concept for a driverless vehicle. It's a full electric, full autonomous vehicle. Uh, the plan is to launch it in a few years from now. Uh, but the idea of the concept car is to think about the role of a car in a world of autonomous vehicles. And it's clear that they are completely focusing on entertainment, in-car entertainment, uh, figuring out how you can communicate with each other, communicate with the outside world, enjoy your content, enjoy gaming, all those kind of things. And it, it's that perspective as well that, uh, that was the reason for Sony to make a uh, concept car. They launched that at CES. You can see that in my CES video um, to showcase how good Sony really is with that in-car entertainment. So it's, it's funny, you know, we're moving from a world where engines were like the most important thing towards a world where in-car entertainment and functionalities within the vehicle will become more important than the engines and the items that were important to, to convince the customer in the, in the past. So the reasons why people will buy a car in the future will obviously be totally different than the motivations to buy a certain brand in the past. So guys, this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to share the video with your network, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I wish you a fantastic weekend and I hope to see you again next week in my next episode of Stephen's Week. Have a great weekend. But thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.